at y'all. So you see the truck taking delivery of my new, <laughs> new to me, F-350 Dooley Crew Cab 4x4. I must say, this is a big truck. It's good. It's not a diesel. Everybody hollering about price of gas going up this day in the third. You can't afford no gas, you need to stay at the house. I know the fender crack, there's nothing in the bed back there. Uh, problem, transmission. The car came with this girl right here. Probably hit us later. Hey. Get these seats redone. Well, not redone, replaced. <laughs> I mean, there's anybody really gonna be sitting back there. But. Yeah, hey girl, how you doing? Hey. My name is Charlie. Alright, alright, alright. Cutscene. Uh, story time. So this was back when, uh, right after, like maybe a month after the car wreck or so, month or two, maybe. I don't know. It was after the car wreck sometime. And I got to do cutscenes because I did not record properly and I didn't record like how I used to. Uh, I just wasn't ready for it. So I was trying to make myself record and I ended up not recording nothing else for another two, three months. So <laughs> yeah, it's good to take your time to yourself. But anyway, the truck, uh, like I said, the transmission was gone in it. Uh, we had to get it towed home, and uh, it's about a three hundred dollar tow from Batesville up to Memphis. Uh, and I had to get it dropped off in uh, like some mud because it just, it was, as you can see, it was sitting in mud already, and then now it was more mud, so it was just muddy. <laughs> it was just raining, and I had to get dropped off in some mud. But uh, yeah, we got it towed home and it sat there for a minute. Uh, Cause I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what the cost was. And like I said, I was off work from the rig and stuff. So <sighs> yeah, that's where we at right there. I'm gonna go back to it, let y'all watch some more. And I'll be back with another cutscene when it's cutscene time. Well, this is unrealistic how this truck sit up here. It's taller than everything else. <laughs> There's like two tow trucks on top of each other. Another cutscene. <laughs> uh, it's time to head to the train mission shop. Uh, I called the guy. He was like, it'll be 1450 to pull out the transmission and tear it down. And that's just getting started. Uh, so, it was, like I said, it was stuck in some mud. I ain't had no tow truck or nothing. So, we got my buddy Kylan. I don't know if y'all remember Kylan or not, but I got Kylan to come with his truck. We just got the chain, pulled it out, and had the tow truck come pick it up off side of the road because. We couldn't do nothing else with it. <laughs> so, and uh, we, just, we just set it right there, had him come pick it up. We took it on to the shop. We got to the shop and put it on in the bay. And uh, it got started on it. Took him about a little bit over a week, maybe about nine days, something like that. Chain bed. They rebuilt the transmission and all that. Uh, rebuilt, new parts, new torque converter. Uh, they fixed the shifter, it was a little loose. Uh, they took care of all that stuff, filled it back up. Even hurt my tires up. And the tires are flat. I told you the truck was sitting up for a while. So, but anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. I think this might be the last cut scene. We're about to find out.
is so big sitting up on that trailer. I mean, on that tow truck. <laughs> it don't make no sense. Okay, so it wasn't the last cut scene. Uh, <laughs> so this was uh, when we picked it up from the train mission shop. First drive afterwards. Uh, where I go first? I don't even know where I went first. I, I drove the truck everywhere. Uh, but this is first drive afterwards. Gave it his first watch because y'all saw how filthy it was when I picked it up. It was terrible. It was it was just filthy. Every time you touched it, it was dirt on your hand. I just didn't want to deal with it, so I took it to the car wash. You know, this usual tradition. Anytime somebody get a new car, you got to go wash it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go wash it. But, yeah, this is right out of the train mission shop. Took it to the car wash. Uh, like I said, it took them about nine days with it. The total came out to be $5,400. So $5,400 is what I paid for that train mission to get rebuilt and put in that truck. Torque converter, all that stuff. But anyway, back to the video again. First wash. First wash on the F-350. Definitely the last cut scene. Uh, this was the first fill up on the truck. Uh, this, and I found out that the gas cap is broke and the little piece that holds the neck up to the, the body is gone. So the neck just hang down. So I have to get up on there and push it up when I'm putting gas in and then put the, the uh, too much. I'm gonna just go get, I'm gonna go fix that uh, probably tomorrow. Well. At the time of this video, this video is premiering on Sunday, so today is uh, I don't even know, bro. I'm getting it, I'm getting it fixed. I'm gonna fix it, uh, so I ain't gotta keep doing that. Ain't gotta worry about my my gas and filler tube neck falling off or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, but that was before I knew that. Uh, I haven't filled it up completely yet, but on this video, I put seventy dollars in. I was close to E. I put eighty-seven, and that put me. At half so today I waited until so I was a little under half I put $76 even I think that was about 14 13 14 gallons if I'm not mistaken and it put me at a quarter away from full I don't know how it worked I'm tired man I'm running ripping running trying to get this truck right get my tags right all this stuff uh, I got a new camera I think I showed y'all that I already. I, I'm going back to the Canon G7X, but uh, anyway, back to the video. All right, so I put 25 in, and then now I'm back at the gas station for another 50 oh, ball. 50 ball. This also broke. Uh, Gas that's it for this video y'all that is the truck those are the problems that it has uh that's how much i spent i spent 3200 on the truck 5400 on the transmission uh and it's it's driving and hit the highway fine y'all gonna stay tuned for this uh first drive video make sure y'all turn on that post notifications bell and it will be a playlist for the truck so the people that's here for the truck stuff you can watch the truck stuff the guys that's here for the car stuff you can be here for the car stuff and the guys is here for all the other stuff. Y'all be here for all the other stuff. So, with that being said, make sure y'all stay tuned in. Hit that subscribe button, post notification bell, golden jewel out. I'll see y'all next time.